can't talk about these things if we do not discuss these things and look at it because it's actually one of the key factors basically the root of corruption and we need to find a way how do we finance elections who does it and what happens when that person does it do they get more benefits than you as an individual or as a person if I'm the business person and I help my friend to become a politician I put in 90% and I promote them and I help them do the campaign I'm gonna be the first person on the list because that person is obliged is actually obligated to do me a favor to give me all the contracts and the and everything that I've asked for that's a very interesting thing and I've taken this thing from Nigerian ministers uh, on Gozi well she wants people to think about those things she wants I want the same thing and I think that's really interesting that we need to find that because we all know that people get favors and you don't know how they get favors that is why there's a lot of corruption if you put somebody if I market someone if I invest in somebody to become somebody then I get 90% of the business opportunities 90% of everything that comes into the country. I'll be the first person to get that So it's very important that we find a way of financing elections in Africa the democracy that we want We need to find a way of how we can have a good life uh, Good leaders not ministers and presidents and kings for life campaigns and elections are very expensive and very stressful so if we find a way that each country has an amount of money that will put in for elections, then we know that corruption cannot take place. A person cannot get so many favors because they've put in 90% into that person's um, elections or campaign. So it's time for us to think, how can we eradicate poverty? We need to finance good elections. Put the leaders there, put in the money, put in the resources that are required for good leaders in Africa. Not the president for life. Not a president for life. No presidents for life in Africa anymore, guys. Do you know the budget of your country? Is it out there for you to see? Do you understand it? You don't. In Africa, some of the places they don't even tell you, they don't even show you, they don't even, they don't even you don't even see the, what happens in the parliament. It's all hidden. So there's a lot of corruption in Africa, guys. And it's still happening in 2020. So we need to come up with ideas, innovations. We need to come up with good ideas to track down and to, fi and to investigate corruption and find ways that we can eradicate that. Come up with systems, come up with technology that will stop corruption. Come up with, stop, pe stop people from killing, from killing and stealing from us. We need to come up with those things. We need to start talking about those things. These, there are so many ideas. There's so many young people in Africa. And we can destroy and get rid of corruption and have a very beautiful continent. We can use technology as well to eradicate um, everything that's happening. We can come up with something to destroy corruption. There's so many young, intelligent people in Africa. And I do believe we can come up with something. Right? Tell me what you think about financing elections. What would you do? Don't forget to like and to share and to subscribe. My name is Molly and it's good to see you today. Bye-bye.